So either I love creating crazy things here in After Effects or I'm just running out of ideas after all these years. But in this tutorial, we're gonna create a line and a wiggle effect and we're gonna create some really cool compositions with these two ideas put together. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. And if you're not following me on my Instagram, be sure to do so because we're posting three tutorials a week on there. So we're gonna take these two simple ideas, a wiggle, a line effect, and create some really cool compositions right here for After Effects. Effects. let's jump in let's get started all right boom here we are inside of after effects so we got some really cool you know examples we're gonna put together here very cool stuff so here we are in tutorial composition I'm only gonna be working for title because you know this can look great with a title a logo animation whatever you can do to enhance your compositions look great with so the first thing we're gonna do is come here to the top we'll grab the ellipse tool we're gonna start with the ellipse click on the word fill set it to none and click OK click on the word stroke make sure this is the solid color and click OK and I'm gonna use a stroke with a uh, five for this first one and from the center of our composition I'm gonna hold down shift click a point and hold down control as well and from the center of our composition I'm gonna draw out a perfect circle I hold down shift and control on my keyboard and this allowed me to do this circle like so alright the first thing I'm gonna do is come here to the add icon and I'm gonna add a wiggle paths and we'll open this up and I'll come here to the size and maybe set this to 160. I'll come here to detail and maybe crank that up just by a little bit, a couple points there. And we'll come here to wiggles per second and bring that down to one. So now you're going to have like this line here that's going to be, you know, rotating around our title or whatever you're working with. Then what we'll do is come here to add and we'll add a repeater to this. We'll open up repeater one and we'll come here to copies, so maybe set this up to nine or ten. And we'll come here to transform repeater one, set the exposition to zero. We'll come here to the scale and set this to maybe 97%. Okay, so now you're going to get this in here. And we'll also come here to the end opacity and set that to 0%. And we can just kind of scale this up by a little bit. Beautiful. And if you want to add a little bit of color to this, we go to Effect, Generate, and grab a Gradient Ramp. And I'll come here and just customize my colors really quick. All right, and here we are. It looks really cool for our very first technique. Just adds a little bit of an abstract element around our title. All right, our second technique is all about these circles here, kind of like a tunnel vision here. And it's very fun and easy to do this one. So in our composition, we already have a circle in here. That's all we have is when I created a circle. And we'll open up our shape layer and we'll go to add and we'll add a repeater right away. And as before, we'll go to transform repeater one and we'll set the exposition to zero. And this time around, we will increase the scale by a little bit. And then you increase the number of copies to fill up your comp. All right, awesome. Then what we can do is go to add and then add the wiggle paths because now we want the wiggle paths after the repeater. So bring down wiggle paths underneath the repeater one and you'll get individual animation there. And we can increase the size and the detail a little bit, but this time we'll set the corner to smooth and you know that'll look nice. And once again, we'll set the wiggles per second down to one. And after a quick render, here's what we'll have. And it looks really cool and a little nice detail around our title. All right, our third technique is about creating a symmetrical tunnel this time around, and we're gonna jump into our tutorial composition here, and we already have the same effects as we did in the previous comp, but this time I'm gonna take the Wiggle Pass 1 and put it above Repeater 1, and this will allow things to be symmetrical, <laughs> and we'll go into Wiggle Pass 1 here, and we, what we can do is decrease the details, um, and then increase the size if you want, and this will allow us to create some really unique looks here. All right, and you know, that's pretty cool, but we can take this even a step further. So instead of using the ellipse, what we can do is delete it and come here to the top and grab the polygon tool. And right from the center, we'll draw out a perfect polygon, you know, just like this. And then we can maybe bring down the size back to 10. And then you can go into Polystar 1, go to Polystar Path 1, and you come here to points and change that up to six or any other number you want. And that will change the shape of your polygon. So now we'll be able to change the shape of our tunnel and have a little bit more control over what we're doing. And as always, before we move further into our tutorial, I gotta give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our 1400 motion graphics professional pack right here for After Effects. And how this works, we have 1400 templates in here and you can preview every single template before you apply what you're looking for. So we have a, almost 200 titles in here. And when you find the title that you want, you click on apply. And you go into that composition and easily change out your title. And you'll have a full title animation right here for After Effects that you can use as a template and to use it in your own work. We have a handful of other elements in here like motion graphic shapes, you know, animated backgrounds, promos, which are awesome, um, that you can apply into any project that you're working on. But we can apply, say, an animated background to this to help this stand out even more. So I'll apply something from the high tech category. And I'll go ahead and click on apply. And now we have a full After Effects composition here just by using two templates out of our entire pack of 1400 elements. And we can easily switch over to other packs in our library of templates 
by very easily clicking over to them. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects while having all the templates you need, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, in our final technique, we're gonna create these lines here. Uh, so you can do a lot with this, but obviously this goes to the top of the bottom, but that's what I did. Anyway, how we create this is very simple. We'll come here and grab the pen tool this time around. And all we're gonna do is come here, zoom out and draw out a straight line like this. Hold down shift on your keyboard to do two points like that. All right, awesome. All right, and again, we'll open this up. We'll go to add and we'll just start off with adding the repeater right away. And once again, you go in there and you go to transform repeater one. And we'll come here to scale and we'll just set that up to like maybe 108%, increase the number of copies here. Awesome. And one thing you need to do is consider where this first line is positioned at. So we'll zoom out here and we'll just go ahead and move this line inward by a little bit, you know, do what you gotta do. And we'll come here to start opacity and lower that down by a little bit to maybe 80%. I don't know, I think that looks fine. And then we'll come here to add and we'll add the wiggle paths again. And we'll open this up and we'll come here to size and set this up to 160 for the size. Detail up to maybe 20. Definitely set this to smooth and the wiggles per second to one. All right, awesome. So now what we can do is take this you know, shape layer, we can duplicate it and just go up to layer, transform and flip uh, vertical. And now that puts it at the top. And if you want, you can go to layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect, distort and add optics compensation to this. <clears throat> and set the field of view up to maybe 90 and check on reverse lens distortion and that'll give a warp perspective. So now we'll have this top and bottom look of our lines here. This is another cool perspective on how to use these wiggle lines in After Effects. So that was our tutorial on this simple concept where we have a line and a wiggle effect and we use some really cool, crazy stuff with it. Uh, but if you want to watch more tutorials like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below. And always be creative.